Yo, what's up guys, it's Harlow Smiley here, welcome back to another creative tutorial. And in this video I'll show you how to make zombies give you gold every time you kill them. So, the gold doesn't drop onto the ground, it just gives it straight into your inventory. And I actually know a lot about zombies maps, so if you want to see more, just comment, and yeah, enjoy the video. Oh, here is what you're going to need. You're going to need a creature manager for each type of zombie you use in your map. You're going to need a mutator zone, a player spawn, and some gold. You're going to need two triggers, two attribute triggers, one item granter, and a score manager. The thing you want to do is you want to grab your two triggers, and you want to make sure they are touching like this. Just like that. Now, what you want to do from here is you want to go to the channels, and you're going to put this one to trigger when receiving from channel 2 when trigger transmit on channel 1 then you want to do the opposite for this one so go to channels trigger when receiving from channel 1 when trigger transmit on channel 2 so next you want to get your two attribute triggers and these you want to go over to the channels and you want to put it to listen to channel put one on one and then if all checks are valid transmit on channel 100 and then for this one, you just do it channel 2, listen to channel 2, and if all checks are valid, channel 100 again. You also want to set the minimum player score to 1 on each of these attribute triggers, so you don't end up getting infinite gold. The triggers and the attribute triggers will be going in an infinite loop. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our item granter. And here's where you can grant your gold to the player when they eliminate a zombie. So you want to drop however much gold in here you want to give to the player when eliminating a zombie. So I'd recommend like 10. And once that's in there, all you want to do is go to the channel settings and grant item when receiving from channel 100. Make sure the on grant action is keep all as well. So you don't lose your gold every time you kill a zombie. Now we're going to grab our score manager and here's the settings that we're going to change for this. Score value 1, score award type subtract and then over the channels activate when receiving from channel 100. Now you want to grab your mutator zone and your player spawn and place a player spawn right here now you can change the amount of people that play in the map but you want to put the mutator zone right on the player spawner a wall next to it like this you want to put allow weapon fire yes and on player entering zone transmit on channel 2 now what you want to do is you want to grab some creature spawners not creature places creature spawners because the creature places have a maximum of 20 so there's no point in using them so just place one of these down change any settings that you want but change it to the type of zombie you want so let's say I just put it on fiends uh, all these settings are up to you but if we just put it on that we want to grab the creature manager and make sure it is on fiend and then what we what we want to do is score one score distribution all to killer and you want to do that for every type of zombie so say I have a red fiend spawner we're just gonna grab this and set this to red fiend all to killer score one there we go and let's just put a red fiend spawner down and that will work perfectly and now that we've got everything set up you just want to come over to the settings make sure infinite ammo is off and then come all the way down here show wood resource count no stone no metal no and gold yes so that will mean only your gold shows so you it won't show you know wood brick metal and only do this if you're not gonna have building in your zombies map obviously there's not there's not really any point adding building into a zombies map but if you wanna do that go ahead also make sure infinite resources is off otherwise it will show that you've got infinite gold which you haven't so 
let's go ahead and open this big chest and see if this works. So every time if we kill this zombie, we get 10 gold. Kill another one, another 10 gold. Etc. So if we killed all these. So it turns out there were like 15 zombies there. And I got 150 gold because we're getting 10 each time. So the attribute triggers are checking if you have at least one score. These triggers are going in an infinite loop. And then if you do have one score, the item granter is giving you 10 gold for it. So that is how the system works. So, if you are going to put like only one gold per kill on, make sure that it is, um, make sure that, you know, doors, vending machines, whatever you want to add into your zombies map is not major expensive, because if it was a hundred gold to open one door, that's kind of harsh, because they have to kill one hundred zombies. And yeah, so make sure you do that and yeah, so if you do want a tutorial on how to make locked doors that you can open by spending gold, a mystery box tutorial, whatever, just drop a like and also comment what else you want to see. And yeah, so if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment what you want to see next. And subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss an upload again. Most of the creative tutorials. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join the Discord in the description. I'm going to start hosting scrims and stuff on that Discord. And yeah, enjoy. Peace.